What's going on guys, it is Jamie and welcome to the channel Thrift on Fire. If you're new here, I'm normally going to thrift stores, garage sales, places like that where I can find stuff cheap to flip online. Today is January 15th, it's just getting into the new year. Um, I'm sitting outside of the Goodwill here in Tilsonburg, Ontario. I'm gonna pop in real quick, see if I can find anything cool to flip online. I'm gonna share that with you guys. And then at the after that, at the end of the video, I'm gonna share a few things that I sold from my last video. If you haven't seen that, I'll link it down below. But I did an eBay store buyout of a viewer and it was pretty good. There's some pretty good stuff in the store. I've listed, I've listed a lot of it and I've got a lot of it in the draft still, but I've already sold about seven things. So I figured I'd share that with you as well. But first, Let's get in the store and see what we can find. These are all brand new and sealed. I'm really not sure what to do. Um, <laughs> only a dollar. Should probably just pick up a bunch of them, right? Um, the box sets, brand new sealed for $2. Trying not to really sell DVDs, but it's hard to turn stuff like this down. So uh, probably gonna pick some up. So far I'm at 80 through 89 and then 90 through 109 and then 110 all the way up to 126 so they're all in order it's not every one but i figured these are three good bundles so we got the three bundles we have seasons of the ultimate fighter and then i found this midnight special it's not new or sealed but it's a pretty good box set as well for just four ninety nine. I wasn't even gonna come today, but look. I'm so glad I did. Combo unit, 12 bucks. Just sold this exact one on Etsy for like, uh, I'll throw a comp up. I think it was like 80 bucks or something. Some kind of butterfly. Let's talk about the store buyout and a few things that have sold for me. So far, it's been pretty good. Um, notable, obviously, I'll throw up on the screen somewhere over here was the DVD VCR combo, the recorder. Uh, I wasn't really sure about that. I listed it on Etsy and eBay, uh, and I think it sold within a few days on Etsy for uh, $90 plus shipping. I'll throw it up on the screen, like I said. Uh, that was a pretty good sale. That thing's already in the mail. Um, I did some pretty limited testing i just basically made sure it played uh the vcr part played the dvd player played uh, and i threw a disc in and hit the record function i didn't go through an entire recording but i started a recording stopped a recording and it did burn a disc so wasn't too concerned with the functionality there didn't spend hours with it i probably spent about 10 minutes with it testing it and i considered it working so next up the ebay sales first of all these two flags you'll see in the screen now these ones interestingly enough i mentioned uh i mentioned that i probably would give these to my nephews what actually happened there was a couple of pairs of there was a olaf um pair of converse and then another pair of adidas the uh my nephews wanted the shoes, so I let them have the shoes. And in that case, I decided just to auction these off. Uh, right away, I got a watcher. I was pretty excited about it. I listed them at $10, got a watcher right away, and a bid right away. Uh, I only wound up getting two bids on this thing. It sold for $10.50 plus shipping. So, you know, it's still a sale from this store, so I wanted to share with you. It's not a great sale, but still kind of interesting. Now, these are the OG Nikes. I just about passed up the soccer shoes right um yeah these ones sold as soon as i listed them i started getting offers in and from all over the place canada the u.s mexico i think i got an offer from france uh, they wound up going to somebody in the u.s uh my so as you can see the 99 dollars is crossed out i kind of listed them what i thought was high and then i got a whole bunch of offers and in my mind i thought the first person to offer me 70 dollars plus is gonna get them so that's what they sold for they actually sold for seventy dollars plus shipping the buyer is all in i think 108 dollars which for for me is a little bit mind-blowing for these shoes but uh yeah i'm glad i picked these ones up and didn't pass on them next up a pair of vans now you'll notice with a lot of this stuff i listed them on the what i thought to be a little bit of the high side of the price i listed these for 27 dollars. i think i accepted an offer for 25 dollars, so it's pretty close there uh plus shipping of course these were pretty nice. These were the um, ones that have like the kind of, like they're leather, right? They've got that leather look, 
but I think they actually are leather, but then they've got the little bit of um, stretchy material there in the shoe, so there's no laces or anything like that. Great condition. I would say almost like new. I did sell them as used condition. Uh, they did sell as a woman's size 7. Nice shoe. Next up, a collector's plate. Uh, so I've actually sold this morning another one. I think the uh, Alice in Wonderland one for about the same, about 20, between 20 and $24. I can't remember the exact number at the moment. I'm waiting for the buyer to pay on that one. This one is already paid and shipped. Um, you know, I think I wound up being in a buck a piece on these. The, the ones with the boxes, right? You see it's in the box here. Not so hard to ship. I just would put... Uh, like I uh, would just wrap it in bubble wrap on the outside and slide it into a solid container to ship another box potentially uh, you could put it in a poly bag but you'd be taking a chance these are pretty fragile so I would protect this one more time in a box and uh, that is what I did and I shipped this one out for $21 so $21 to $21 pretty good now these Ghost 11s, I wasn't really sure if they were going to get the $55, and they didn't. I believe I accepted an offer of $40 on these guys. Um, why? I don't really know. I think somebody offered me $40 bucks for these, and I thought, yeah, that seems fair. You know, $40 for a pair of shoes, a used pair of shoes, I thought was a pretty decent price uh, for me. You know, considering what I have into them, I think we figured my buy cost for this was around $6.50 or something like that. Something pretty close to that anyway. So turning that into $40, I was happy with that. And I do want to move some of this stuff along. I don't want to sit on it. So listed it for $55, gave the person a pretty good discount, um, but they did sell pretty fast. Sorel boots, same deal. I listed them when I thought was a little bit high. Uh, I think I listed them as uh, new without box. I just gave them an extra little wipe down and tried to get everything looking as nice as possible. And I do think they look very nice and they are new with tags, right? So I got, it says 70 crossed out. So I actually got $60 plus shipping on these guys. Very nice boots for sure. This was a great find, you know, you know, for him to find these. And have, I don't know if these were listed or unlisted. I don't remember, but you know they sold really fast for me. They, you know that's a, that's a pretty nice boot to pick up for sure. Last but not least, we have the Canon PowerShot 710. This one sold really fast. I had a lot of interest in it. Uh, I had a lot of lowball offers. This is the first thing I sold from this buyout, uh, and it sold for forty dollars plus shipping. Uh, I think I have an auction right now going on the other camera stuff. I lotted it all together. We're going to auction that off. I think it's starting at $99, and we'll see where it goes. Um, that's going to be a good deal for somebody. I, the other camera stuff is all untested. This I was able to test. I just threw batteries in. Very simple to test something like this. So, so far, this store buyout has been pretty good for me. I do still have a few things in my drafts that I haven't got up yet. Um, but, you know, the things that I've been listing have been selling. There's some pretty good items here, to be honest. There was only a handful of things, maybe about three or four things that I didn't keep whatsoever. I also kept this Disney mug as sort of a memento. You know, it'd probably be worth maybe 10, 12 bucks, something like that. But I'm just gonna keep some keep some stuff in it and, and keep it hanging around. Nice little memento of the store buyout. You know, it, it was a fun experience for me and hopefully it was a fun experience on the channel as well. Thank you guys for sticking around this long. If you're still here, down in the description below, I just opened a big cartel shop. Uh, the link will be down below. You can buy some stickers for about three bucks. I'm gonna have some other merch on there too. Just some basic stuff. But really, if you can buy stickers, that would be awesome. They're gonna be three dollars, uh, three dollars a piece plus shipping. And you know, everything that goes into the anything that's sold at that store goes directly back into this channel to make things bigger and better for you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like videos like this again, give it a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed, please consider subscribing for more content. Till next time. Take care, stay safe, we'll see you soon, bye-bye.